Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I'll be doing a video on this thing called a tube ringer. Um, now, I before I start, I just want to say that I'm totally inspired by Sadie Saves the Day, who did a video on one of these. Literally, her video went live like today or yesterday, and I'll give you a link to her video because it was basically like, you know, she did one. So I was like, I have one of those. I could do a video on mine, too. So, um this one i got this on amazon.com and it was a little on the pricey side i saw some going for like three or four bucks but i ended up paying 18 dollars for this and the reason that i paid 18 dollars for is that it was all metal and um and i just thought that it would last longer that way and it would give me fewer problems um so and it's all metal so it's a little on the heavy side um let me tell you what a tube bringer is a tube bringer is exactly what it sounds like i didn't even know this was a thing um until somebody mentioned it in one of the comments because i was like struggling to get little things struggling to get every last drop of paint is and i was saving them and then somebody was like oh yeah you can get a tube bringer and then i was like whoa what now so i like looked it up and i literally got it like either the same day or the next day that i saw a fan talk about it so what this is is this lets you put in the tube of paint and you can get out every last drop of paint so you don't waste any paint um it doesn't have to be just for paint in fact i think well i was supposed to bring some chapstick over um you know what i may get up and go get some chapstick and try it with um a tube of chapstick and see if it works but anyway so this is from my Snelli. these are all from the Snellier set of two paints that i got and as you can see i'm going through some colors relatively quickly um, but i want to show you how this works so this has um normally i do all sorts of research on the brand i don't know what brand this is but i will have a link for it down in the description below um so what this is is it's literally just a um just a thing to ring out the tubes you open it up like this you put the tube in and it rings it out it pulls a tube like you can see here and it makes it crinkle um, and this is basically it said that it was all metal but there are a couple of plastic joints um, in this version and um, let me show you you can stand it up like this you put the tube in so you put the tube in and then you squeeze in the bottom right and then you turn this so as you turn this it pulls a tube through I didn't do this really particularly straight but um, but that's how you do it. Now, when I was first doing it, I really thought that this was only for empty tubes, but it's really not. It's for tubes of all states. I did a very poor job of this because I was trying to do it. See, this is why you should do stuff before doing it on camera. Let me try to get this one straighter. Um, all right. So, and I'm just going to show it to you sideways. And it's actually pretty... You know it's pretty fast as you can see when i did this with the empty tubes like tubes that were almost empty i literally got out almost an entire half pan for some colors for other colors i got out almost nothing but for some colors i literally got out almost an entire half pan and this saves the tube and so now when you open it you it's a much much easier to get it now the thing to to keep in mind is not to squeeze too hard because you don't want it to be um, you don't want it to gush out, especially the Sennelier paints already have a tendency to gush out. So I would just be a little bit mindful of that. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so you put it in. No, this is not fitting in. Now, the other thing is I wish, hold, let me actually try it. I don't think it works that way. No, it doesn't. It's not going to let you do it. Because what ended up happening for me is as I was pouring, so like, you're trying to get the paint out, right? So let's pretend that this is open. Um, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable opening it because it might actually start gushing because the Sennelier ones do have a tendency to gush. Um, let's pretend this is open. The paint is actually coming out this way and it's not a big deal if it's like a yellow ochre or something like that, but if it's like, you know, a Sennelier red, then it really starts to just kind of go everywhere. And I always thought that I wish that it would be a thing where you could put it face down but I don't think you can because of the way that it the way that it moves but um let me nope you can't you nope you can't I don't think you can hold on where nope oh maybe you can maybe you can't uh oh I just discovered something new maybe you can okay so you just got to turn it backwards 
and you got to make sure not to over squeeze because I might have over squeezed this a little bit no I don't think I did um, make sure not to over squeeze because then when you open it it's gonna gush out oh that's a really good discovery I didn't know it could do that so let me try it again see how it is I think you just have to turn it backwards for it to work that way um, and be careful not to get your hands stuck in here look at that I'm making discoveries as I'm doing this on film this is like the worst okay um so you turn it no nope, you turn it this way so you turn it this way and you can have a little thing or two but still no you know what i don't like that <laughs> yeah it does kind of work but i don't like it it makes me feel nervous and uncomfortable now i see what they why they did it the way that they did but then what i ended up doing for a lot of these is just like doing it this way and then um, I would just have the pan, like a pan of paint. Hold on, let me see if I have a stand-in pan. This is just a stand-in, I'm not gonna open it. Um, so I would do it like this and then have the paint come down on it if this was open, but it's not open. And then um, and then it's like that. And then if you, if the paint, like I said, if the paint is empty, you can get most of it out. Yeah, so that's how I ended up actually using it. Like when I was actually using it to use it, um, I would put the tube in on this way because I'm right handed and then just go in backwards like that and then kind of go backwards a little bit to get it out. You know what? I don't know why this is. Um, I was going really until I got a little bit of a resistance. See that? But there's still more room here. I think it's because of this. I don't know why this is like that. But um, when it gets empty, like when it gets really, really, truly empty, it'll let you just get it, just go all the way to the tip. And you can get quite a bit of paint out of that. Let me see what colors I have that have the least. Oh, this has very little. This is the titanium white, which a lot of people say, you know, don't use white in watercolor. Um, but I use white all the time. I use it, you know, people said that they use a white gouache. I just literally use white opaque watercolor paint. Um, Because unlike gouache gets very, like it gets very hard. But if I use a white watercolor paint, I could just have it in a half pan, like regular paint. You see how that looked like it was almost empty? But then we do it and there's a bunch of paint here. So, and then this is, this looks like, I thought this was almost empty, but this looks like there's at least one more half pan in here, maybe more. So this is still good. And you just keep doing. The other thing that I was not expecting is that this gets really addicting and I just want to do all the things like I just, I just want to take everything and just like squeeze all the things but you have to be careful not to over squeeze look at that that looks like that's probably two half pans at least in there um see that I'm sitting here thinking that see I'm sitting here thinking that okay this is almost empty um but there's a bunch of paint left in there and the white one too I was surprised at how much paint is left in the white one Look at that. It's super easy. It doesn't strain my hand. Uh oh. I wonder if that was. No, this looks like that was dry. You see that? That looks like that was already there. That white stuff. That looks like that was already there, already dry. Yeah, that's that's super dry. That was already there. So, but I didn't do it too much. You see, there's still a little bit of room here, um, because I don't want it to. Like I said, I don't want it to gush out. I don't really know why I'm still doing this in front of you other than the fact that it's addicting and it's fun to watch and it's fun to do. Um, I have been obsessed lately with um, a new show that I literally just discovered yesterday. I knew it was a thing, but I didn't know when to watch it. And it just showed up on my Netflix and it's called Black Lightning. And one of the one of the main characters is a black lesbian superhero at that Um and I have been just obsessed with the series and I just started watching it yesterday and I'm pretty much almost done with um, the first season. So, and then this is Ivory Black, which I actually also use Ivory Black, but as you can see, I don't have as much. I have more Ivory Black than I do of the Titanium White because I took the Titanium White and I put it in all my palettes. It's not as opaque as white gouache, but it's definitely opaque enough for my purposes. And I use it for special effects too. All right, almost done, and then we can and then we can go. See that you didn't you didn't have to watch the whole thing, but you know if you're still here, I appreciate it. 
because this is fun. This gets very addicting. Um, and then you feel it actually when you're when you're going, you kind of you kind of feel it when you start to feel a little resistance. Look at that. That looks like a brand new tube right there. That looks like that's a brand new tube right there. And I also didn't realize that you could do this on tubes that weren't totally empty until I saw Sadie do it for her video. Um, so once again, you definitely have to go thank Sadie and go watch her video. Um, and if you go there from here, let her know I sent you. This is um, blue endothrine. I'm actually surprised I have this much because um, this is a color that I use a lot of. All right, I think that's all of them. So thank you guys so much for watching um, all the way to the end. Stay for a video of the cats. Um, there's going to be a cat video and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye. He's not supposed to be on this table. Look at that. That's clearly his paws on there. I'm just showing you that for scientific evidence because he's not supposed to be on here. Yeah, I'm making more swatch cards. Oh, look, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's a bad kitty. Oh, you saw that? Oh, he sat down. What a criminal.